Warehouse 508's third annual 72 hour youth film festival is just over a week away at the Chemo Theater. And here to talk about this very exciting event is Andy Brayman, executive director of NMX Sports and Warehouse 508's, and Lisa Chavez, 2014 film or flight coordinator. Guys, thanks for joining us this thanks morning. Thank us. you. Getting used to the daylight savings time, you should get <laughs> extra credit points for, for coming in early. So exactly. first of all, tell us a little bit about the the uh, the the film. I want I keep saying fight or flight. Film yeah, everybody or has flight. That problem. Tell us about this festival. Um, it's the 72 hour youth film festival. It's open up to high school and college students under the age 25. Mm -hmm. And it's where they have um, 72 hours to produce a film. They have like the whole weekend and pres president's weekend happened. So mm -hmm. they had um, that Saturday, a Sunday, and a Monday to film and edit their films and hand it to me by midnight on Monday. Wow. And okay. And it was, it was for high school and college age yes. kids? Okay. That's really great. So why is it important for, uh, for something like this to happen for New Mexico high school and college students? We know the film industry is huge here. Of course, we're talking about, you know, Cosmos, which premiered last night here on Fox, yeah. was shot here in New Mexico. There's a lot of work in New Mexico for the film industry. Yeah. So, uh, what other reasons do we think it's important to offer an opportunity like this for high school and college kids? Part, part of what Warehouse 508 does is, our, in our curriculum, is we have a film program. Mm -hmm. And Valeria Ojeda, who was the president of our youth creative crew a couple years ago, this was kind of her brainchild. Okay. And so, she's big in film, she's a graduate of Sandia High School. Um, and so she wanted to put together a 72-hour film festival. Okay. So Valeria ran it for the first year and the second year, mm -hmm. and then she took off for college, and we recruited Lisa from Atrisco Heritage mm -hmm. to be this year's coordinator. That's and great. Um, it's just, it's been amazing. Yeah. It has really set some, some young people um, above the rest, mm -hmm. I guess you would say. Um, and Lisa's gone out and she's gotten sponsorships mm -hmm. um, in the film industry. So depending on what place they take, mm -hmm. they're going to take a little bit of money back to their high school to help better their program. Oh, their that's film great. Program. That's yep. really great. Yep. Yep. So uh, just very quickly, how did it go for everybody this year? Was it, uh, you shot over President's Day weekend. So uh, 72 hours, I mean, there's a lot of folks out there that might be familiar with the 48 hour film project. This is similar to it in the fact that you have to produce a film turn it in by a set time. Uh, but this is high school and college students that are working under pretty strict deadlines. So how did it go for them? Um, it was really good. We had um, six missions for it. Mm -hmm. There was more, but we tried to get outside of Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. We had San Jose and like Farmington. But since we had a kickoff and they couldn't make it to the kickoff to get like, cause in the film festival, we had to have a line, a character and a prop for it. Mm -hmm. And to receive the prop, you have to be like present there. And mm -hmm. so, um, officially we got um, six submissions from four different high schools. Okay. And they're all turned out really well. It's kind of hard me watching them and like want all, want, want all them to win. Right. So. Right. That's great. Well, so folks can get the opportunity to see the finished products at the Chemo Theater. Can you share the details on the screen? Um, the 70 hour, hour, hour Youth Film Festival is the 2014 Film or Flight. It's a well, it's Warehouse 508. It's on Friday, March 14th at 7 o'clock p.m. at the Chemo Theater. That's right. And so, we'll, of course, we'll also have links at uh, casa.com. You just click on the Casa blog. And we got a poster here there, showing us, right? Let's take yeah. a look here and see if we can get it here. Third, and this is a great poster, by the way. There we go. We'll take a look at this. My man Josh is going to get a nice close-up of this. So, again, folks, head over to our website at casa.com. If you want information on this film or flight, there you go, the view on March 14th at the Chemo. And, and it's free. And it's, it's free. It, it, it's free. Yeah, no you bet. Great opportunity to yeah. come out and see these films. Exactly. Of the next generation of filmmakers. Really. It is. It That's is. great. It's really well, like a good opening. Yeah. Because like, I've been in film for so long, and mm -hmm. so I was like so happy to be the film coordinator for this. And so Very cool. It's a really good opportunity. Very cool. Well, best of luck to all the filmmakers on this for this and their future endeavors.